Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Osterberg501, and today I want to go over two things in this video. One of the things is an infinite chest farm that allows you to infinitely farm a red chest without having to fight any enemies, and this is able to be done very quickly. But first off, I wanted to go over what's pretty much the giveaway of this video. And if you guys don't know, the Bloody Harvest event ends tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. And this video should be uploaded by midnight. So this should give you about 12 hours to do this. So if you don't know, there's challenge skins in the Bloody Harvest event. We're in game right now and I'll show you guys them. So you just go to this tab in your inventory and there's the challenges. Now the last one to get the skin requires you to kill Captain Hawk 25 times. I know a lot of people haven't done this. This is a ridiculous amount of time to kill, um, amount of times to actually go kill Captain Hawk, go get all your ectoplasm 25 times, kill him 25 times. It's a lot of playtime to do this. A lot of people haven't done it. So if you want to, in the last minute, get all of these skins, you can do this pretty much instantly. Now this is only able to be done on PC. I don't know how to file share on consoles. I don't have any consoles. So what you're actually gonna do is you're going to download this save file that I'm going to link you guys, which is just named a thousand. I'll actually rename it because I already linked something that's a thousand. So this one's going to be a thousand and one basically. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to your documents and you're going to go to my games, Borderlands three, then saved, then save games, then go into this weirdly named file. And it's going to be in here. And you're just going to copy that file that I link you guys into here. I already have mine in here and I'm already on this character. This character in your character list will be called free skins. So what you're going to do after you get on this character, you're just going to go into your inventory, go over to the bloody harvest tab, go to challenges. All these boxes um, will be closed. If you have not accepted any of these rewards, just click all the boxes. It'll open them all up and give you all of the rewards which include character skins for every character and the animated ghoul weapon skin. And these will all now be tied to your profile. So you just have to do this once, then all your characters um, that are basically saved to your profile that you do this on will all have all the skins forever. So that's how you get all the skins for free. So let's go into the actual glitch of this video. So for the glitch portion of the video, you're gonna have to be offline to do this. I don't know which hotfix or patch note this was actually fixed in, but if you try to do it online, there's an invisible barrier there and it doesn't let you do this glitch. Secondly, you have to be on Zane because you're using his digi clone ability. And third, you're gonna be going to the Slaughter Star 3000, which is the third slaughter shaft you're gonna lock. You're just gonna come here. You're going to talk to the guy to start it up. It's gonna open these doors. Then you're just going to run over to where you actually start the rounds. Now, in this little area right here, once you start the rounds, it spawns a red chest in there and a barrier. Now, what you're going to do, you're just going to start up. You're going to look in here. You're going to pop your Digi-Clone, and it's going to be in there. You're going to switch spaces or spots with them, and then you're going to open up the red chest and look at the loot, see if you want it. Then, once you're done with that, you're going to go to the Solder Star 3000 fast travel point. You're just gonna fast travel to here and this is gonna consider you to have died in the round. So it's going to reset that round. And you even get the uh, voice line that tells you you pretty much just died. And then you're just going to run back and do the same thing. Now if you don't have any like action skill cooldown stuff, as you can see, I could pretty much get here and my Digi clone isn't even up yet. So you're just gonna start it again Look down in there, pop your Digi-Clone, switch spaces with him again like normal, pop open the chest, and loot it again, see what kind of loot you want to do. And you can do this over and over as many times as you want. You don't have to fight a single thing. Um, you know, there's not a ton of load screens, nothing like that. It's super easy to do, especially if you're um, a newer player that just got to level 50 or something like that. If you're trying to level up a new character, just trying to get some easy gear without having to really fight anything. You can easily turn on some Netflix, YouTube videos or whatever and do this because you don't have to fight anything. And that's pretty much all you do. And it does have a decent-ish chance for legendary drops. It's also pretty good if you're looking for some of the, say, E-Tech um, epic or rare weapons because those can spawn in here quite a bit too. So that's pretty much all you have to do. And 
that's pretty much the entire video. So subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands 3 content. Leave a like if you like the video. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about this glitch. And thanks for watching. Your sister! Give me an assist. <laughs> 